The Top 10 Most Ancient Dog Breeds What is the world's oldest surviving dog breed? And when did the dogs first become domesticated? This is a question that has puzzled many for years. Although some studies suggest that dogs were domesticated as early as 40,000 years ago, recent evidence points to a date closer to 14,000 years ago. While many of these have since gone extinct, there are some bloodlines that still thrive today. However, determining the exact age of a specific dog breed is challenging, as their lineages can date back to varying lengths. Recent studies have identified ancient dog breeds with DNA evidence, suggesting they existed well before popular breeds, such as Golden Retrievers and German Shepherds. There are also many historical accounts and archaeological findings that can give us a glimpse into the past history of certain canines. To uncover the first dog breeds on Earth, we have conducted extensive research and compiled the most current information to determine the oldest dog breeds known to man. Our video today showcases 10 of the oldest surviving dog breeds in the world. Dog number 1. The Chow Chow Did you know that the Chow Chow, with its distinctive fluffy appearance, has a rich history dating back over 2,000 years to China? They were originally bred for various purposes, including retrieval, pointing, sledding, hunting and guarding. In fact, the breed was so highly valued that during the Han Dynasty, depictions of the Chow Chow were created and can still be seen today. It's even said that a Chinese emperor kept a remarkable 5,000 of these dogs for hunting purposes. As the breed made its way to Britain in the 18th century through trade, the name Chow Chow was given to the breed and referred to miscellaneous items on trade ships that couldn't be classified in any other way. However, this breed's popularity skyrocketed when Queen Victoria took an interest in it solidifying its place as a royal companion for the nobility. So while the Chow Chow might not be the oldest breed on our list, it's certainly one with an intriguing and fascinating history. Dog number 2. The Chinese Sharpei The original of the Chinese Sharpei might be a mystery, but thanks to its genomic testing, we know their lineage goes back thousands of years. This makes them one of the ancient dog breeds, believed to have been first bred in China around 200 BC. and. If you look at the statues from the Han Dynasty around 2200 years ago, you'll see a wrinkled dog that looks a lot like a Sharpei. Nowadays, people love Sharpeis for the unique appearance, but way back then, they were valued for their ability to protect farms and livestock from predators and for hunting. It's crazy to think that this breed, which has been around for over 2000 years, was almost wiped out in the 20th century. During China's Communist Revolution, the Sharpei population took a huge hit but a breeder from Hong Kong issued an appeal in Life magazine to save the breed. The resulting attention from the magazine feature led to a boom in Sharpei adoptions and breeding across the United States. With any luck, these wrinkly fellows will be around another couple of thousand years. Dog number 3. The Samoyed This next breed dates back roughly 3,000 years and is among 14 breeds with a direct connection to wolves. Indigenous to Siberia, Samoyeds were an integral part of the Samoyedic culture and considered important family members, providing warmth and companionship. Their Siberian ancestry gives them natural herding instincts, while they used to help with nomadic reindeer hunts. During the heroic age of Antarctic exploration, Samoyeds were trusted companions to explorers like Shackleton, Amundsen, and Scott. They gained popularity in England when Queen Alexandra became enamored with the breed and helped establish them as both show dogs and beloved pets. Today, many descendants of her dogs can be found in kennels in the US. Canada and Great Britain. Dog number 4. The Afghan Hound The origin of the Afghan Hound is a topic of debate, with some suggesting Egypt and others pointing to Afghanistan, as the name suggests. This breed is known for its long silky hair, narrow face, and thin build, giving it a unique elegance. Despite misconceptions of low intelligence, Afghan Hounds are actually just stubborn and prefer to keep their ancient hunting instincts intact, making them difficult to train. Recent DNA evidence suggests that the Afghan Hound is one of the oldest dog breeds, with a history dating back over 3,000 years. Legend has it that two Afghan Hounds were even among the dogs depicted on being Noah's Ark. The breed was highly valued as a hunting companion by royalty and aristocrats in the mountainous regions of Central Asia, where their long coats protected them from the cold and their paw pads allowed them to traverse rocky terrain. As sight hounds, they hunted leopards and gazelles by sight and were bred for their speed. By the 1800s, British soldiers brought Afghan hounds to the UK as show dogs, which is why there are still so many of them in the world today. If you are interested in all sorts of dogs and want to learn more about other breeds, check out some of our playlists. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on new videos and can learn more about dogs.
Dog number five, the Finnish Spitz. This breed has been around for an incredibly long time. They already existed and were brought from Russia by the Finno Ugrian people, who migrated over 3,000 years ago. These tribes used the dogs primarily as all purpose hunting dogs, and because they were so isolated, the Finnish Spitz as a breed developed with little influence from other breeds. Later, two sportsmen from Helsinki observed the dogs in action and returned to Finland with the best specimens they could find to continue the breed. They were bred to be bird and squirrel hunting dogs, and today, they are the national dog of Finland. Dog number six, the Siberian Husky. The Husky is a breed with a rich and captivating history. Believed to have originated around 4,000 years ago in the Chukchi, just a stone's throw from Alaska, these dogs were first brought to Nome, Alaska in 1908. Today, Siberian Huskies are synonymous with sled dog racing and the vast frontiers of northern ice fields. But their origins may be even older. Researchers suggest that Siberian Tymir Wolf may have played a role in the development of the breed by the Chuchki people, who lived in far northeastern Siberia. These indigenous people needed dogs that can not only be good family companions, but also haul sleds and light loads as they travel through the frozen tundra. Since then, the breed has remained largely unchanged, and their wolf-like appearance makes it easy to imagine their close connection to the wild. Dog number seven, the Saluki. Now here is a breed steeped in history and royalty that has captivated hearts for millennia. With its lightning speed comparable only to that of a greyhound, the Saluki has long been a sought-after hunting companion, chasing down the swiftest of creatures, including gazelles, hares, and jackals. Along the Arabian Peninsula, these dogs would work in tandem with falcons and hawks to bring down prey. With roots that date back almost 5,000 years, images of these slender fast dogs with feathered ears, tails, and legs can be found on historical artifacts in the Middle East. Pharaohs, kings, and nobles all held the Saluki in high esteem, so much so that they were even mummified in ancient Egypt. Archaeological evidence of this revered breed has been found in tombs along the Nile, solidifying the Saluki's place as an iconic and timeless symbol of royalty and prestige. Dog number eight, the Akita. Discover the fearless and dignified Akita, prized for its calm demeanor and unwavering loyalty. Historically, these dogs served as wild boar hunting companions to samurai in the mountains of northern Japan, but the origin of Akitas has been the subject of much controversy. In 1962, bones of two canines were found at the Kamikawari rock shelter site and were carbon dated to be between 9,000 and 9,400 years old. However, Recent research has shown that carbon dating can be unreliable due to potential contamination from surrounding materials. Thanks to historical references and genetic evidence, it's now believed that Akitas have been around for approximately 6,000 years. So embrace the rich history and noble spirit of this dignified breed, and remember they are still one of the oldest regardless of current debates. What breed of dog do you think is the most ancient? Is there one we've missed? Let us know in the comments and share your thoughts with other enthusiasts. Dog number 9. The Basenji. Get ready to meet the Basenji, a primitive hunting breed from Central Africa. These dogs were prized for their silent ways, lightning speed, sharp eyesight, and incredible sense of smell. Also known as the Congo Terrier, they helped tribe members drive small prey from the bush and warned of bigger predators. Basenjis are sometimes referred to as the ancestors of all dogs, but oddly enough, they have a personality more like a cat. They're known for their love of staying clean and don't bark, instead they yodel. They're also nicknamed the jumping up and down dog for their ability to leap high in tall grass. Believe it or not, these dogs have a long history. It's thought that they were gifted to the pharaohs of ancient Egypt over 6,400 years ago and are depicted in art from Babylon and Mesopotamia. Today, Basenjis are still used for hunting in the Congo and make great family pets in the US. You'll often find them in lure coursing events or as show dogs. Dog number 10, the Alaskan Malamu. This is no ordinary dog breed their living history. Their howl is a throwback to the Paleothic wolf cries from deep within their bloodline. The Malamute Inuit tribe used these dogs for their nomadic travels across the Kotzebue Sound in Alaska. Malamutes carried heavy loads, scared away polar bears during hunts, and searched for seal breathing holes in the ice. These dogs are some of the oldest on the North American continent, potentially dating back 12 to 20,000 years. That's older than the ancient Egyptians and their pyramids. In fact, Mammoths are still roaming the earth when this breed appeared. Evidence of the Alaskan Malamu's existence can be found in the form of bone and ivory carvings that look nearly identical to the breed we know today. Pair this with the discovery of a 9,500-year-old preserved dog on the remote island of Zolkov, whose DNA extracted from its remains provides us with evidence of very early diversification into sled dogs. To date, 
The Zolkoff dog houses the oldest and most well-preserved dog genome, demonstrating a direct ancestral link to the Alaskan Malamute and the Greenland sled dog. This strong connection to the long history of canine domestication makes the Alaskan Malamute one of the oldest living breeds in the world today. Of course, there are still many studies being done, and technology is becoming more accurate as the years go by. With new archaeological finds and advancements in genetic testing, today's rankings of the most ancient dog breeds could continue to change. So make sure to stay tuned for future videos.